Hey, what is up? I hope you are having a great week here so far. Thanks for checking out this video and other featured listings of the week brought to you by Jim Alfano. So please do like, subscribe, comment. Looking for it all. Thank you so much. Um, <clears throat> gonna start here in Stanford with this beautiful condo. It's a penthouse, it says. What, what a nice layout, what a nice view. Stanford's a great town to be close to Manhattan and be in a little clean, safe. I, I almost all of Stanford is, is fantastic, and you could really just walk around at night. It's got a great vibe, good restaurants, and this is pretty cool. Look at this view. Oh wow, I didn't notice it the first time. Look at the lighting in the hallway. That's outstanding. Yeah, it's just a lot of nice, beautiful high-end touches in this place. Um yeah and, and you know attention to details and such i i just wish they would have put some something here instead of that normal tub um uh, that's i'm being nitpicky though great apartment great condo and the amenities in this place are really cool yeah see this is the more i like this bathroom i like the uh I could do without the tub and just have a, an enormous shower, but whatever. I mean, they have the tub, so that's cool if you want to get in the tub, but uh, it's got a nice shower there. Yeah, like I said, the amenities are real nice in this one. So it's a cool lifestyle. Uh, let's check out the next place we have here in New Canaan. Super high end, super high end. Uh, luxury living condo oh I didn't scroll down on the other one forgive me let's look at the data here real quick <laughs> I forgot about that one broad street two beds two and a half baths 1677 square feet please pause to take a look at any of the details all right um, sorry for skipping that the first time around let's go to the next property here we are 160 Park Street, 104 New Canaan, Connecticut, three beds, three and a half baths, 2217 square feet, 3.2 million. I'm going to round up or round down, depending. All right. So again, uh, pause and check out the details if you will want to see any of the um, details about this beautiful condo. And uh, let's go take a look at the pictures of this beauty right here. So again, super, super high end, fit and finish and materials. It's a beautiful place. Very attractive, you know? I like that nook. I like that nook a lot. I think you would call that the breakfast nook. And it's gonna cool right outside to their own patio here. That's nice. The fuzzy chairs. I wanna know if the fuzzy chairs come into place. Cause I like the fuzzy chairs. <laughs> I'm not big on carpeting, but in the bedrooms, I get it. And it's nice to have it on your feet. I mean, I don't hate it. And this to me is, uh, <clears throat> I like the shower more than the, uh, both of the other ones in the other unit. <clears throat> you know, they made use of all the space in there. It's big and you got the shower head on top here, as well as this normal one. And you get the wand and you get two people going at the same time. That's dope. That's beautiful shower. Love it. Love the mirrors in here. It's a great touch. Real pretty, real nice views. Super condo complex. All right. Next, we are heading to Norwalk. This property is also astoundingly beautiful. We have four point. 489 21 a uh, mil uh, excuse me 21 Bryan Road Norwood Connecticut four beds four baths 3444 square feet we're gonna play fours on the uh the pick three <laughs> let's go all right hidden in plain sight gorgeous sanctuary we're waiting yeah take a pause look at any of the details it is an, a stunningly beautiful home on the inside wait till you see it It's unassuming from this perspective. It just looks like a nice home, right? But once you dive into it and you look at the beams, uh, the exposed wood, the, the wood flooring they used, 
I don't know. I'm just a huge fan of this house. I'm, I'm not... I don't know how I feel about the wallpaper. I'm a little conflicted about it, but I like it. It works. I don't hate it. This kitchen to me is super cool. I'm getting tired of a lot of the materials they're using for backsplashes in kitchens. This is this is absolutely beautiful, this, these tiles here. Little office space. And the brick in this, I, I'm a huge fan of brick. Really cool bedroom. And is that, I wonder, is that a ceiling fan up there or not? And talk about nice showers. This is a nice shower. And again, these tiles are really tasteful. I love. I really like them. And you could be on the toilet and shut the door. It's and still have like the glass and you know it's 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 cool. It's cool. You could kind of uh, make more use of that bathroom because of its it's compartmentalized inside. And it's not a lot of property. It's it's not a big uh, big lot, but it's really cool space. You know. Plenty of places uh, to hang out in the backyard. The pool is super beautiful. Love the the overlook there on the top, which goes up to this bed and the skylights. I mean, it's just, a, it's a nice home. This is so interesting. I love those, the lamps hanging down there and then the signs. It, it almost feels like you're in your own little world right here in the middle of Norwalk. Yeah, totally cool. These people have some nice taste. You got the outdoor shower there. Yeah, huge fan of this home. All right, let's head down to Florida. Now we have a very affordable home in St. Petersburg, Florida, 285,000. Three beds, one bath, and 1,070 square feet. Welcome to your dream home in St. Pete. Uh, charming bungalow, right? So it's not a big home. It's only just under 1,100 square feet. But it's, you know, I think there's a trade-off. You don't have to stay in income tax, but you pay a lot of insurance, so that's a little bit of a trade-off. But it's a very nice home for $285,000. Updated. I like that. Bathroom's okay. It's clean. It's nice. It's a nice house. I, I, I'm not seeing the... Uh, I'm not feeling the layout of the furniture in this room. I mean, I get wanting to, to no, I'm not feeling it. I mean, I, I don't think that fire is going all that often there either down in Florida. Kitchen's a little tight, but you know, they, it's not a big home and they made really good use of the space. So, you know, it's a nice house and that's why it made it. This back is a little ugly. I didn't remember this, but. I don't know why those windows are closed like that. Yeah, and obviously we need some landscaping going on here, but you know, again, you know, they renovated the house. Maybe they didn't pay attention to the landscaping. It's a nice, it's a nice home. I, I'm a fan, but you could go into another neighboring town here in Florida on uh, 10, uh, excuse me, 3069 Sunset Boulevard in Bel Air Bluffs. Three beds, three baths, 2,400 square feet on a quarter of an acre. This is an absolutely beautiful home. Um, let's dive into it here. I'm going to scroll down. And, uh, let's take a picture. I mean, let's take a look at the pictures of this beauty. The driveway is really cool with those, um, bricks. Nice entranceway. Got the rocking horse going with the fake palm tree in here. And the mannequin, gotta have the mannequin. I hope the mannequin comes with the house. I think she might be wearing a Trump hat, not sure. I, I, no, no, I'm not getting political. So don't, if you if you wanna comment about politics, no, put it on Facebook. <laughs> uh, really cool living room. I like this openness. Um, ceiling fans are so unique. I've never seen anything like that. And uh, maybe that's more of a Florida thing, but they're very cool. And a beautiful pool. Yeah, this landscaping is done nice. This whole outdoor experience is stellar. It's a very interesting bathroom layout. Um, so they have that shower area with a window 
almost like a booth of some sort. I don't know where the door to that shower is, and I think that ceiling is open. So it's a very interesting setup. I like it. I, I wish I saw a little bit more of the bathroom in the photographs, but you know. Um, great, great home. I, you know, nitpick. I, I think this texture of these uh, stone here and the stone on the top might maybe a slight bit too busy for me, but again, I'm nitpicking. It's a, it's a nice kitchen. Oh, that's a nice office. Yeah, it's a great house. Look at this garage, the two car. And then he's using the one car garage bay for his storage or their storage. And I said his, sorry, don't assume. <laughs> great home. Hey guys, do me a favor. Like I said, like, subscribe, reach out to me. Any questions, concerns you might have, anything about real estate, 203. 408-1693, 203-408-1693. Have an awesome day. Catch you next week.